Home sellers are afraid to sell. Yes, it is a real thing. And that's one of the reasons why inventory is so low in this housing market here in the United States. Hey, everybody, my name is JJ. You're watching Bull Boom Bear Bus. It's Saturday, June 5th, 2021. Thank you for being here. Let's get back into the housing market today. We've got a lot of information to cover, including the fear of selling. Why do people not want to sell their home right now? Even some people that would like to sell, they would like to take some of these profits here with these overinflated prices, but they are afraid. Let's talk about why. Now, first of all, I want to thank Nomi Prince for tweeting this out because I didn't see this article. This is out of the Wall Street Journal. And she tweeted here, quote, plenty of households could sell their homes for a big profit, but when they would have to find a new place to live, many are unwilling to compete in this frenzied housing market where they could be subject or subjected to fierce and costly bidding wars. Absolutely correct. So you're going to go out there, you might sell your home. And if you want to get a different home, maybe you're upsizing, maybe you're downsizing, maybe you're just relocating and not changing the size of the home. Either way, you could face fierce bidding wars and you may not get the home that you put in an offer for. And we're going to talk about uh, next, we're going to talk about the craziness and how many um, bids are coming in or how many offers over the asking price. Uh, but think about it. You could sell your home and maybe not find another home for who knows how long you're going to have hedge funds investors uh, real estate flippers and just owner occupants trying to buy this home in front of you why because of the frenzy caused by the the fractional reserve lending of course we all know that right? and many other factors we had the big spike in demand with the work at home where offices were closing and people relocated to lower priced areas so we had a huge demand surge and people relocating during that time with the great sickness being rolled out. Also, we had a lot of extreme things happening in many of the major U.S. cities. Another reason people wanted to relocate and get out of the cities. Also, a lot of people wanted to get away from possibly infected people and get more out into the country in less crowded areas. Uh, mortgage rates that consistently get lower and lower and lower. We're still near 50-year lows. And uh, finally, behind the scenes, we have the money printers promising never-ending rescue programs and liquidity for the banks no matter how bad things get so of course that's going to create more demand with endless amounts of money being loaned out to potential home buyers and also you have to factor in we have no restrictions on corporations buying homes right there's no laws against it so there's no restrictions so technically you could have um, a multi-billion dollar company come in and buy half of the homes in the united states if they were ever capable of doing that now, I don't think one company is ever going to have that type of capability, but uh, we do see home ownership dropping now with more non-owners or non-occupants buying homes. All right, and people say that's crazy. That'll never happen, but we've already seen multi-billionaires come in and buy thousands and thousands of acres of farmland. And uh, what's to stop them from coming in and buying homes out from everybody? All right, and there really should be a law against these corporations and hedge funds coming in and buying up these uh, properties. But let's talk about more of the reasons here behind people's fear. Recent article here out of Redfin, the housing market update, over half of homes are selling above list price and that's up from one in four homes just one year ago. So one in every two homes sold is now being sold for above the list price. Here's a chart right here that breaks down the insanity 2021 is in the red line right here. And we can see it's heads and tails above 2020. Now, some people will say, oh, the economy's doing good and everybody's so rich that that's why home prices are going up. Well, if home prices are going up because everybody's so rich, why is mortgage debt also going up, continuing into new all-time high territories, right? In most cases, this is borrowed money. And now with the home ownership rate dropping, we know that it's people buying second homes, third homes, investors, corporations that are now coming in more heavy-handed and outbidding a lot of people that are trying to buy their home that they want to live in right so what do you call this type of system where whoever borrows the most money gets the most stuff buys the most homes all right technically you could have a corporation go out there and borrow billions of dollars and buy up tens of thousands of homes some of them have already done it all right but what's the limit is there going to be a corporation that owns half the homes in the country ultimately when this is all done and what's that called? I mean, some people still call this capitalism, uh, but I would call it something else. I would call it, I would call it a big scam. I mean, I can't think of a better name. Uh, you let me know down in the comments what you would call this. 
But back to the home situation, yes, homeowners in many cases are afraid to sell because they know they may not get the home that they want to move into. And even if they go to rent, rents are crazy right now. Rent prices are also surging. So they may have a double whammy. They may sell their home, go to buy a home. They can't buy it because of all the bidding wars. They get outbid. And they go to rent a home. They can't rent a home that they want to rent because more fierce competition there. So now you sold your home and you may have to move to an area like this. For those of you that are not looking at the visual, that are just listening to the audio, we're looking at a very rundown looking neighborhood right here. And this may be an extreme example with this photo here. This is out of vicenews.com. But you get the point. You may not live in the area that you want to live in after selling your home. So another reason why many people are afraid to sell their home right now. Now, who else is buying homes? There are still people out there with cash and with the bubbles happening right now in the stock market um, and digital assets. We still see a lot of cash buyers out there. Now, most people still rely on financing, but... Um, there are cases like this report right here out of CNN. All cash offers are king in this hysterical real estate market. So if you do have all cash, if you're rich enough to go ahead and offer all cash for a home, you're more likely to get your offer accepted because that's less red tape for the seller and that's less of a chance of the home falling out of escrow because the financing doesn't come through. But when there is financing, if it's $50,000 more than the all cash offer, it's going to be very tempting for the homeowner to still take the financing offer and just how crazy is it right now with the prices well here's an example the Bay Area California the second month in a row where the median home price now tops one million dollars and this is from April now the May numbers are gonna be out shortly and it's my guess and I'm gonna I would bet that the million dollar median asking price was hit again it probably went even higher in the month of May for the Bay Area and even real estate agents are amazed at the market right now. We talked about this previously. Of course, they're loving the commissions on these higher price homes, but TexasMonthly.com, Texas real estate agents are just as overwhelmed and astonished. Uh, longer lines, nonstop bidding wars, uh, letters to the seller trying to entice the seller to take their offer. I read a story of one home buyer that even promised to name their unborn child after the seller in order to get their offer accepted, and they still didn't get their offer offer accepted. People are giving sellers pictures of their pets to make the home seller want to give a good home to the pet there. So a buyer's trying to pull on the heartstrings of the homeowner. All craziness, all insanity. Uh, how long will it continue? Nobody knows. Why? Because the money printing machine can go to infinity all the way into hyperinflation. Uh, will that happen? Uh, I don't think so. If I was sure that was happen going to happen, I would just go out and, and invest everything knowing that the markets would go up forever. All right, now I want to be clear on this because some people said I predicted home prices would, would double. No, I'm not predicting that. What I'm saying is if the manipulation was enough, it, if it were to continue, home prices theoretically could double. All right. Um, but that doesn't mean it's going to happen. Usually always something comes out that pops the bubble. Uh, it's anybody's guess. Will it be a cyber event? Will it be some sort of banking restrictions? Uh, will it be a war, uh, another virus, who knows? But something always usually pops the bubble. Um, but how are you positioning yourself right now? Are you buying because you know home prices are going to go up forever? Are you waiting because you know the bubble is going to pop? You have cash ready to go? I'd like to hear from you on this in the real estate market right now. Crazy times, everybody. Stay well. Hope everybody's good. Thanks for being here for this report here. This weekend, update, bulls and bears. Hope you're good. Stay well. Keep stacking. Stay prepared. Bye for now. Peace.